Hello and welcome back, this is Paul the Wondershare Mobile Trans. Recently, we've been reading a lot of complaints about users who are backing up their WhatsApp account to Google Drive, but they're unable to access it from their phone. And of course, this can be extremely frustrating if you have important documents or files or messages that you want to access, but you can't. So what do you do? And so if you're experiencing a similar issue, you've come to the right video. We'll be showing you how you can restore a WhatsApp backup to Google Drive, either via an iPhone or an Android device. And as we've covered in a number of our other videos, it's extremely important to make a backup regularly for your WhatsApp account, either backing up that data directly to your phone's internal storage, or even better, backing it up to a cloud like Google Drive is an excellent way to help secure that data in case your phone becomes lost or stolen. And so we'll show you how you can access those backups from Google Drive, as well as sharing a couple alternative methods too. If you find these kind of videos helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with the latest releases with how-to videos and tutorials like these. Let's start by answering one of the most important questions. Is it possible to read a WhatsApp backup from Google Drive on a computer? The answer is yes, but it's tricky. You're able to backup your WhatsApp account to Google Drive, but it's going to depend on a lot of factors how you can actually read and access that backup later because your conversations are end-to-end -end encrypted. And that brings up the next question. How do you access your WhatsApp backup from Google Drive? And as we previously stated, you were unable to read the backups that you've made from your phone to Google Drive because of that end-to-end -end encryption, but we can use the backups that we've saved that are on our Google Drive account and restore them to either the same device or a different device and then we're gonna be able to read that data at a later point. The steps for doing so are gonna be very straightforward if you're doing it from an Android to an Android or an iPhone to an iPhone. However, if you wanna mix your backups and restores from an Android to an iPhone or vice versa, the steps are a little bit different, but we'll show you how you can do so too. First, let's show you how you can restore a WhatsApp Google Drive backup to an Android device. The first thing we'll do is create a backup of your WhatsApp account. To do so, open WhatsApp, click the settings icon in the top right corner, Click chat settings, chat backup, and if you've already linked your Google account for your backups, it'll be shown here. If you haven't, you can click on account to add your Google email for your backups. From here, tap on backup. WhatsApp will automatically save your chats to the associated Google account from now on. You can also select the frequency of the automatic backups, and you can even exclude videos from the backups if you wanna save space. Now that we've created these backups, let's show you how you can restore them. To do so, you have to first delete WhatsApp from your phone and then reinstall it. After that, launch the newly installed WhatsApp. You should also ensure that the device is connected to the same Google account. Enter the same phone number for your account that was previously associated with the WhatsApp backup that you originally created. WhatsApp will automatically find and show you the last backup that was made. Click restore and WhatsApp will begin importing your backed up data. The steps for backing up and restoring your WhatsApp account from an iPhone to Google Drive are essentially the same. However, if you wanna restore that data from an Android to an iPhone, as where I was saying earlier, steps are a little bit differently, so that's where we're gonna show you how you can do that now. If you haven't already, follow the steps in the previous section to create a WhatsApp backup to Google Drive on your Android device. Next, using our very powerful mobile trans software, we're gonna transfer the data from an Android to an iPhone. Your iPhone connected to the computer, click, WhatsApp transfer. You will see a pop-up instructing you to enable USB debugging. Follow these steps if you have not done so already. Select your Android device as the source and your iPhone as the destination. If the devices automatically populate but are backwards, you can click the flip button. Click start to begin the transfer process. Since we are transferring our WhatsApp data from our Android to our iPhone, we don't need old WhatsApp data from the iPhone. Clicking no will speed up the transfer process. The transfer process will begin, and then you will be prompted to log into WhatsApp on the new iPhone. Log in as you normally would on your iPhone. When you've done this, click Login Successful to continue. You will now see steps to turn off Find My iPhone on your iOS device. Follow these steps to disable Find My iPhone. These steps are temporarily required in order to complete the transfer process of your WhatsApp account from your Android to your iPhone. You can re-enable Find My iPhone once complete. Once you've disabled Find My iPhone, click Retry to complete the backup process. You will now see the restore process finalize. Once complete, your iPhone will automatically restart. 
Opening WhatsApp, you'll see all your old chat data from your Android now on your iPhone. And beyond the example we just shared in the last section where we transferred our WhatsApp backup from an Android to an iPhone, Mobile Trans also has a bunch of other useful features, which the typical WhatsApp backup solution lacks. The first is that we can actually create multiple WhatsApp backups to our computer and actually decide which ones we want to restore at a future point. And in addition to that, Wondershare also has the very powerful feature of letting you see the data that you've actually saved from your chat, and that includes media too. And so for users who want the most control over their WhatsApp backups, Mobile Trans is the way to go. First, launch Mobile Trans on your computer, and then connect your Android device. From the Mobile Trans home screen, click Backup and Restore. Under App Backup and Restore, click Backup. Select WhatsApp. You will see your phone on the left-hand screen under Source Device. Click Start to begin. The backup process will begin. Give it a few moments. You will now see a pop-up instructing you of the next steps to do on your Android phone. On your Android phone, you will see a notification saying that WhatsApp registration code was requested. Hitting OK will allow Wondershare Mobile Trans to temporarily take over your phone's screen, which allows it to automate the steps for this backup and transfer process, making it fast and very simple to complete without any steps required on your part. These automated steps will save a backup of your WhatsApp chat history to your phone's local storage, which will allow Wondershare Mobile Trans to save and copy it to the computer. When Mobile Trans detects that the local backup has been saved to your device, it will automatically complete the backup process to the computer. Once complete, you can see your completed backup. You can restore this one or any of the other backups that you make in the future. With the backup process complete, you can log back in to your WhatsApp account on the original Android device. And so that brings us to the end of today's video. It's unfortunate that the native WhatsApp feature does not allow us to read our backups from Google Drive on a PC. That said, using our powerful Wondershare Mobile Trans app, we do have a lot more options when it comes to backing up and restoring our different devices. And one of the biggest benefits as we've covered is the ability to create multiple backups and to choose which backup we want to use. Thank you again for watching this video. If you have any questions about how you can back up or restore your different WhatsApp accounts to Google Drive or any of the other methods we offer, please let us know in the comments down below and we can help you there. Again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until the next one, We'll catch you later.